welcome to another video. Thank you to Ed's Gaming and to all my channel members. You may notice that my character looks a little different today. Uh, the Inigo and Colin New Adventures series is still ongoing. That's, uh, this does not spell the end of that. And you'll see this character quite rarely and I created her purely to make tutorials and kind of walkthroughs. Using the cheat room I've unlocked every map marker uh, in Skyrim and in Solstheim. And uh, we can just fast travel wherever we want and just get on and do uh, whichever quest is requested. And the first request for her was to show the location of all the, the relics of Azadel in one video. So that's what you're going to see with this video. And uh, let's get it started. And we're going to go and see Rallis, who's digging away there. Um, I, I should say that although this character has done nothing, she is extremely powerful by virtue of the cheat room. And she has particularly an awesome sword that it was provided. So she's, she's already level 83. She's done nothing. She's had to escape from Helgen. That's it. That's all she's done. And uh, she should, although she's not wearing any armour, her clothing is very well enchanted and she should f face little resistance. So let's get it on. The name's Rallis. Rallis Sedaris, out of Morhold. Takes money to make money, all that rot. There's a lot of it at the other end, but I can't get there without a little kick to start it off. Um, I've got some money. Are you looking for a partner? What? Are you... Are you serious? Well, I think I could make that work. We can sort out the details of our little arrangement later. But for now, I'll manage the dig if you can manage the coin. Do you have the gold? Of course. Hmm. It's all here. Well then, looks like I have a good bit of work to start on. Pleasure doing business with you, partner. I'll see you soon. I've been looking for you. Got something I'm supposed to deliver. Your hands only. Let's see here. Got this from a pretty excited looking dark elf around Ravenrock. He said it was important I got it to you as soon as I could. Looks like that's it. Got to go. This isn't good. We only got a little ways in when something managed to wake up the Draugr. Before I could blink, all the miners were dead. And I was next in line. Don't think anyone else made it out alive. So what now? Well, unless you want to deal with the Draugr, this whole little venture of ours is over. Might be over either way. It looked like a dead end before the place started crawling. We could have missed something, though. I don't know. Okay, so... On this trip, we should find Azadel's boots. See if she's as awesome as I think she is. What? See, she's pretty awesome. Straight ahead, we have the boots. Now, I'm not going to take them because 
she doesn't need them. <laughs> but that's where they are. And I'll leave them there to perhaps recap it in the later in the video. Hopefully they'll stay there. Well, perhaps there's some hope for us yet. Now, I have to go recruit some more miners. It won't be easy, seeing as none of their friends came back from the first attempt. We'll have to sweeten the pot a bit this time. I think I'll need, say, 2,000 septums to hire replacements. There you go. I never get tired of that sound. It'll take me a few days to dig up some more laborers, but swing back when you get a chance. See how we're doing. I've been looking for you. Got something I'm supposed to deliver. Your hands only. Let's see here. Another note from your friend Rallis. I hope everything is all right. Looks like that's it. Got to go. Draugr again. I mean, we should have expected it, right? What else do you find in these damned crypts, but waves and waves of Draugr? You've had some luck with these things before. Do you think you could go back in? See if anyone's still alive. Okay. So this time round, I believe we should get at least one of the rings. Come down and play. Or I'll come up to you. There you go. Missed one. So the platform with the boots coming down, pulling the lever, uh, the, the chain, and we come to this room on the left. So through the main entrance, turning left. Avoid the trap. And this I always struggle with. Seems to be trial and error. I know the third one gives me poison arrows. There we go, so the bottom one opens the top one and however else that works. And unfortunately I don't think we can do anything with that letter, there's no quest for that to uh, 
return it as far as I know. It would be nice to go and visit her mother. That's everybody dead. And we have some gold here. And the handle there. So the main entrance behind the boots. Turn right, and we have Azadel's Ring of Necromancy. Well, at least we can get back to work. But Hazard Pay keeps piling up, and this won't be getting any cheaper. It's going to hit 3,000 this time, I'm afraid. Have you got that on you? There you go. We're going to be making this back 50-fold, partner. Trust me on this. I'll go hire a new crew and some brawny types to keep them safe. Come back and check in on us. Nothing can stop us this time. I've been looking for you. Got something I'm supposed to deliver. Your hands only. Let's see here. Another letter from Ralus. He's starting to scare me a little. Looks like that's it. Got to go. I feel like we've done this before. But that just means we're getting good at it. You go make the Draugr dead again, and I'll keep the rest of these Enwars from running off. If they couldn't hold off the Draugr, who can? Me. Or her. So, this time... <laughs> this time, hopefully, the other ring and the gauntlets. A door. There's spiders behind here. Don't take the gold. Can always use gold. Down we go. So now we can get a little bit further. Oh. So, you're hiding, huh? Slice you in two. Oh, 
it's probably possible to do it a little bit more gracefully without triggering the rock traps. Okay, but this is where the second ring is. The secret here is quite an easy one. We have to run across here and activate all of these squares, bef uh, and you've got to have them all activated at the same time. They're only active for a little while. You've got to do it all in as quick as you can over every square without retracing your steps. opens up the gate and on that pedestal we have the second ring if you remember how to jump <laughs> or if you're wearing Azadel's boots of water walking just walk across and get it There we go. Azidel's Ring of Arcana. But I think if we go up there... chain that I couldn't find in the playthrough that I was doing. We are back to the front. Back to the beginning. So that chain activates this door and there are his gauntlets as it has gauntlets of warding. Main entrance. Come in, turn left, down, right, right again, and straight across. And this door was opened by coming back out here through and operating this chain there we go so the gauntlet's there The second ring was lower down, all the way down. And back up and working that floor. And the second ring is there. I think we're almost to the bottom of the barrow, but it's going to be everything I can do to find more miners. We've developed quite the reputation. But for enough gold, I can do it. Just barely. How much? Five thousand. Chicken feed. I know you could almost buy a house for that much, but like I said, we've got quite the reputation out here. And coin is the only counterweight for a bad reputation. 
Have you got the money? Yeah. There good, you go. good. This time I'll spring for some more experienced muscle. That should do the trick. I've been looking for you. Got something I'm supposed to deliver. Your hands only. Let's see here. I've got another letter from Rallis, but this is the last thing I'm delivering for him. That place is just too much for me. Looks like that's it. Got to go. Okay, so this time through we will find the armour itself and the helmet. Already on fish. So there it is. Nice invisible glitched armor, Azidel's armor of retribution. In the room with the trapdoors. Is the helmet left to find? And the 
helmet. He is right there. The Azadel's Helm of Vision. So let's go and defeat Azadel and then we'll do a recap, run through and collect all the pieces in one go. Azidal's mask we have. <laughs> and a nice little bonus from Rallis. And he has a unique pickaxe called Hoarfrost. Nice loot in here. And it leads to the black book. Which I'm not going to read. does have to shout, so we'll get that. Cyclone. Okay, so now we pick up all the pieces in one go. So the main entrance, straight in from there, get the boots. Come in from here to right, get the ring of necromancy. Going down. Nothing of note in there, turning right. We have the Gauntlets. Second ring. Sorry, there's the armor. In that room and the helmet all the way down. Turn right and get the helmet. Yeah. Uh. So that's all the pieces. Okay, so I thought I'd get to model it for you. Not too impressed with the mask. And the rings. Uh, let's, let's do the helmet. There we go. That's a pretty cool helmet. Now 
the rings uh, ignite and freeze. Let's do that. There we go. Ignite and freeze. And his ring, uh, ring of necromancy. So reanimated. I'm not sure I can sh show. I'm not sure she has any conjuration spells. No. But you get the idea. There. So that's it for now. We'll call it a day. Uh, if you'd like to see Tutti Pikarainen again, let me know what you'd like to see I do, and we will try and oblige. Bye for now.